Is it just me or do I look ashy? Do I need more light? What's up, what's up? It's Parker back with another video. Hey. I know I don't do it right. According to a friend of mine, I didn't do the woe properly. So, hey, maybe we can have a video where somebody can teach me the the correct way to um, do the woe. I know you're under a lot of pressure right now, but I'm just getting really scared. directed by writer-director Trey Edward Schultz, a up-and-coming director. He's got, this is his third feature film. It stars Sterling K. Brown from the TV show This Is Us, along with newcomer Kelvin Harrison Jr. So I'm just putting out those first couple of names because that those were the strongest performances for me in the film the movie is about this um you know upper middle class family it's kind of a coming of age story and at the same time a family torn apart by tragedy story superbly acted let's first of all before we even get into the acting let's talk about the cinematography because that movie was a visual master like i was up there looking at it like damn look at these colors look at this camera shots there was one shot in the movie well actually it was a few times that they used it the camera is in the car with the characters and somehow it's like pivoting throughout the entire vehicle and that was like the very first scene in the film and i was with my brother i was like how did they get the camera to do that where's the camera like the only thing i could imagine is that they had a camera like on the what is that the armrest in the middle of the car and it just pivots and just pivots and pivots and pivots. It's freaking amazing. Oh my God. I love good cinematography. Like the acting and the, the, the angst of being a teenager. Kelvin Harrison Jr. really brings this character, Tyler, to life with his blonde hair and his deep waves and he is the he looks like a he is a very great representation of a black young man to me. He got a big wide set nose, full lips, waves, deep waves, even though they blonde, regardless of the color of, of his hair, he definitely got them waves is on fleek, you know what I'm saying? I wish my my waves aren't there. There I have maybe three waves in my hair. That's what I said to my brother. I was like, maybe that's why the movie is called Waves. Because I couldn't find, we couldn't find the correlation of the title to the plot. There are some scenes in the water, kissing and making out in the ocean and sitting on the dock of the bay. Sitting on the dock of the bay. Watching the dance roll away. Ah. <laughs> There's an inside joke regarding someone ad libbing <laughs> and bringing that out. <laughs> I feel like this film has a lot of really great themes. Before we get into the acting, let's get into the theme. The age of Instagram, I feel like that was a really big theme in the Hero. film. Child relationship is a big theme in the film. The acting. Now let's let's get into that. Sterling K. Brown as the father per is perfect. I mean, we can't get enough of him. He is an excellent actor. He deserves all the accolades that are coming to him. You know, Oscar season. Heck yeah, he definitely deserves a nomination for this movie. Freaking brilliant as the dad and as a disciplinarian and as a you know a pusher that a lot of you know successful black dads are they, they want their kids to be better than them i also want to give credit to renee elise goldsberry who was the mom in the movie uh catherine she was phenomenal she was also in the show one life to live which i used to watch when i was a teenager when I was in middle school, I used to watch soap operas, and she was on there, and I loved her there. However, <laughs> on this movie, she uh, 
was freaking phenomenal because she's a really, really great actress and I don't know why she doesn't get any as much work as she deserves. Maybe she's not going out for the parts. Maybe she's waiting for the right role. This was a excellent, excellent role for her. She was so good as the mom, so real as a working mother. So let's point out some of the things that were not the best about the film. So the fact that this was written by, written and directed by a white man is quite obvious. So I'll tell you why it's quite obvious. Well, I won't say it's quite obvious, but it's obvious. There was a scene in the film where Sterling K. Brown, Ronald, is talking to Tyler. Ronald is talking to Tyler, dad and son, and he says, you know, we have to work 10 times as hard just to get half as much or something to that effect. Now, if you, we done all heard this speech. As black people, we've all heard this speech billions of times. We already know this. So it wasn't really that profound to me because I was just like, well, yeah, we know. Duh. Give me something new. However, as a white director, he probably don't know no better. So he's doing his best. You know, he's doing his best. We also know who gave that best, who gave us the best speech of 10 times as hard to get half as much. Papa Pope on Scandal. Did I not raise you for better? How many times have I told you you have to be what? You have to be what? Twice. What? Twice as good. Twice as good as them to get half of what they have. Sleeping with them. You know to aim higher. And little stuff that just came out to me, like the teenagers, the you know, the the children of the film, the, the brother and sister, they both date someone outside of their race. It seemed like it was a reach, you know, because I feel like if it was a black director, everybody would be with black people. That's just me. I mean, I, I feel like that's what would have happened, though. You know, because there aren't enough roles for black people in Hollywood. So those roles could have went to two black actors. However, that was something that was like, hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, whatever. But I definitely loved it. And I would recommend you go see it and support the movie. I can't wait to see Slim and Queen. A Queen and Slim. Can't wait to see that movie. Now I know that's gonna be nothing but black people because Lena Waite gave us this movie, baby, and she is all about blackness. Yes. And to see Harriet, which I have still yet to watch. So this weekend, I have two more movies to see. Queen and Slim and Harriet. Don't know if I'm gonna do a, or a video on them. I might, I did, yeah, I might. But this one was, Waves was something that I was really looking forward to seeing. Had no clue what was gonna happen. Every beat of the movie was a surprise. And that's what I like. I like to be surprised by the movies. I don't want any predictability. I don't want something that I can guess what's gonna happen next. Nah, give me a shot. It was a freaking phenomenal movie. It was a really, really good movie. And it, and it has a lot of, so much to talk about, so much to dissect, which is what I think is super cool, which I think movies should do. They're supposed to, that's what I like about film is something that evokes an emotion and makes you talk and, and, and brings about conversation, which is what was so cool with talking to my little brother. He's 18 and we, we had conversations about it, you know, when the, the youth, and I feel like he probably understood it in a, he had a different perspective because he's a teenager, you know what I'm saying? And it was the movie was about high schoolers and the family, but about the, you know? So I think he had a different perspective. I would really love it if he was here to give his um, his opinion, but he ain't, he's doing stuff for college. So let's talk about Thanksgiving. I just want to drink. All right. 
Thanks for watching. Peace. Love. Bye. Ah, great. Now the bitch is recording without me.